of space, the galaxies, planets, stars, opportunities for colonization, space has limitless potential. Well, that sucks. Our bodies are garbage, not built for space at all. But you know what can help? CRISPR! We're exploring how CRISPR can help you explore space. Do you want to save it forever? CRISPR can do that. Do you want to breathe the oxygen? CRISPR can do that too. Do you want to not get some bird? Well, guess what? CRISPR. And you know what? We don't need those great companies like SpaceX and NASA. We can all go to space, unless your body can't handle the pressures of space. But that's okay, because we got CRISPR! But what about once you actually get to space or Mars, whatever? How are you going to survive there? The climate of Mars isn't exactly good for crops. Technology! And also some CRISPR. You've heard of the American dream, but have you heard of the space dream? Imagine going to your space pod within your $2.5 billion rover to see your wife and children looking at Earth 350 million miles away from the surface of Mars. But what political system are you under? Capitalism? Capitalism. Who oversees all this though? And who enforces the law in space and on other planets? How do you enforce conduct in space without violating any of the inherent rights people are accustomed to? These and other questions must be answered through ethics. So yeah, CRISPR can do a lot, but should we be doing a lot with it? Some worry about how far it might end up being taken. Superhumans, crazy mutations, it holds a lot of power. And after messing around with our genes so much, can we even still consider ourselves human? Lots of questions and very few answers. Find out how CRISPR uh, will get us to space next time in our real presentation. Woo!